Welcome to Featured Works at the Tweed Museum of Art. My name is Bill Shipley, museum educator, and today I will talk about the artist Philip Evergood and the painting entitled, titled Pittsburgh Family from 1944. It's one of the great iconic Evergood paintings in, in, that it could be in any museum in America. Um, Evergood uh, emphasized the human situation in his work. He calls himself a social painter. What is a social painter? Someone who's concerned about the human situation in, in this case, an industrial environment, uh, Pittsburgh, painted in 1944, just before the end of World War II, uh, when Pittsburgh was really a steel town. It was pivotal to the war effort of uh, making steel. So we really have a cycle of uh, work, the ore of, of cars coming in on railroad, uh, the iron, molten iron, the ingots, uh, the cycle of steel making in Pittsburgh. Um, Evergood wrote uh, a good deal of, of, about this painting and about the acid colors that he chose for the figures for their clothing, for example, to intensify the heat in the painting. The, uh, the uh, personal sort of warmth of the, of the family, raising a child in the midst of this turmoil. Um, Evergood also used as symbols birds, often in his work. And here you have a bird feeding uh, baby birds alongside the portrait of the, uh, the Pittsburgh family. We're going to take a closer look now at some aspects of the composition. Philip Evergood liked to mix realism and fantasy in his paintings, almost in equal parts. Uh, but what I particularly like in this painting is a uh, almost a religious or a biblical uh, uh, feeling in the work. Uh, Evergood painted a number of biblical subjects early in his career, and I think that stayed with him. Um, there's an undercurrent of a, uh, uh, a, a more than just the, the human situation here. Um, I like Ever Evergood's optimism, his sense of redemption, uh, even though the figures find themselves in this work environment. Uh, Evergood collected uh, dolls from various parts of the world, ethnic dolls, uh, and the doll-like faces on these figures uh, reflect his interest in that, and also in the idea of generalizing or making more universal uh, the image of the, of the figure. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing about steel making, especially in those years, the danger involved, and you can see the scars uh, and the burn marks on the figures, uh, their hands, and the, the um, an interesting, almost uh, a direct connection of steel, molten steel or iron, from two ingots to the, to the, the right-hand side of the painting, connecting it to the figure, to the, to the female figure, the mother in this case. Um, the, um, the other aspects of, of uh, Evergood's work, he was uh, trained in, as a painter in England, um, came to this country and was a social activist. Uh, it can, uh, can, uh, worked in a number of worker protests um, during his uh, art career. Uh, but interestingly enough, he, his major patron was Joseph Hirschhorn, the Washington, um, the museum, Hirschhorn Museum in Washington, D.C. is the Hirschhorn collection. So Evergood, even though being a uh, defendant of worker rights and uh, working in protests, he was actually being patronized by a very wealthy uh, art collector. Thank you and join us again for another featured works presentation at the Tweed Museum of Art.